Yeah, hello. Welcome to um, this lesson on our study of lecture studies. So we we'll just go through some questions involving what we just we just discussed. Okay. So um, if you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to support the channel. All right. So let's start. Now the first question is saying that we should calculate the number of electrons in one coulomb. It's just simple as that. Okay, number of electrons in one coulomb. If you remember, we said something in our previous video that charges are quantized. Okay, with the formula K O is always equal to N E, where N is the number of electrons and E the electron charge. Okay, so it means that always N is equal to Q over E, where I know that E is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Then Q is the charge given, okay? Charge given. So the charge that is given to you will be your Q. Now here the charge that is given to us is one kilo, one coulombs. I know that so it means that the number of electrons is simply equal to the one coulombs okay n is equal to one coulombs okay just one over six point sorry one point six zero two rather okay one point six zero two times ten to the negative nineteen coulombs and this will give us um if you do your calculation very well you get zero six point two four two times 10 to the 18 number of electrons okay so this is a simple answer for this simple question and with this it has no units okay so means the charge here has one coulomb and this is in coulomb so coulomb will cancel coulomb and we don't have any units to it okay all right so let's move on to the next question so assume that or assume that a piece of metal strikes your body and transfers a total charge of 0 0.9 okay let me underline the charge for you maybe you might not see total charge of 0 0.95 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs how many electrons has your body gained okay you can pause this video and try this question and see if you can be able to solve it okay all right let's let's solve it together for your previous question we said that always n is equal to q over e we know this formula where our Q is the charge given our E is that but here Q is what 0 0.95 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs okay and we know our E already to be 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs so it means that my N which is the number of electrons will be equal to 0 0.95 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs over 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs and this will be equal to 5.930 times 10 to the 17 number of electrons this is very very simple it's as simple as that okay so let's take the last question this question i'm i'm thinking or I'm, i believe that you'll be able to do this question on your own how many electrons make up a charge of negative 30.0 micro coulombs all right so we know that automatically we, we can you can pause the video and try this if you want to you want to try okay all right let's start you know that n is always equal to q over e okay so we know that now our e is simple as that e is always equal to um 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs okay but here when our Q is negative 30 point zero micro coulombs so the question is are we going to use a negative are you going to use what okay the idea here is that a negative is just showing us the kind of charge we have okay the kind of charge we have here is negative meaning is, is, is like is the sign just like that telling us what type of charge we have and so in our calculations we won't use this negative okay 
So this will be equal to the Q that we use here will be 30.0. Then our micro means 10 to the negative 6. Okay. Like this. I hope you get it now. So here we'll get our N to be equal to 30 times 10 to the negative 6 over 1.602 times 10 to the negative 9. And this is equal to 1.84, sorry, E73 rather, okay? Times 10 to the 14 number of electrons. So this, all my calculations are into three decimal places. You can approximate yours to four decimal places or five DP, depending on how your teacher or your lecturer might want you to put in it, okay? So um, this is it, and that is the solution to... The questions we have here okay so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel support the channel as well in our next discussion we're going to talk about the forces coulomb's law and a whole lot so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the channel it's very very important okay thank you and see you next